Hey everybody, welcome to the open air model shop with Tudorville 75 and Midnight to Ferocious Sissy. I am going to be doing a really short update on the Camp Panzer Leopard 135th tank by Tamiya that I'm building. I have the lower hull pretty much all finished. Uh, Working on the upper turret, trying to finalize everything with that tonight. Um, I busted the antennas. So I tried to make my own, simulate my own with wire. I don't know if that'll focus in or not. But I think that's pretty, pretty right. I did some research on it and... The one-to-one -one antennas were six foot long and in 135th scale that comes out to 2.03 inches. So that's what they are. Um, I did some touch-up painting to the turret. Again, I don't know if that'll focus in very well for me. But if you can see right in here in this area, it's not blended in the same as if it was airbrushed so obviously with this olive drab you can't touch up paint anything unless you airbrush it because it just doesn't blend in properly so the upper or the turrets done and then we have the upper hall pretty much done just got to do some bits and bobs to it but i don't know if you can see the tools on it or not I tried to do a different wood technique with it. I used the Vallejo Model Air wood keller. Try to get that to focus in a little better for you. It's not really picking it up that well. But I did a Vallejo Model Air wood keller. And I didn't really dry brush. I did a little bit wetter. And more paint than a dry brush would with burnt umber and left the burnt umber on the wood keller a little bit and then wiped the excess off just letting a little tiny bit on the wood keller and then I went back with wood again the wood keller and brushed it over the burnt umber so I was pretty happy with the way that came out try this side here maybe the Wood, wood killers will show up a bit better. Yeah, there you can kind of see it. Um, on this side, I also tried my luck with the rusting, doing a little rust. Uh, I went in with a rust keller and then, believe it or not, like a khaki keller. It was like, I think the keller was khaki. And then back over it again with the rust. And I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. Try to get you a better view of it. My lighting's not the best in here. But yeah. So there's a look at the overall haul. All I have to do now is just pretty much final assembly. I'm going to do a little touch up paint here and there. Uh, final assembly. And then... That's pretty much going to be it. I'm not going to do any weathering on this one. I'm just going to get a couple kits under my belt. Uh, my buddy Andy, Tactical Jackalope, made a good point. He's like, why don't you just get comfortable building again before you put all the time into weathering and all that. Which makes sense. I mean, I'm back into this brand new again. I mean, I wasn't very very far into the hobby last time whenever I had to take my leave of absence for almost a year so I really appreciated that advice you know get back into the flow of things get a couple builds under my belt 
and then go back to her. So I picked the airbrushing up pretty quick. That went really good. I'm really happy with the way the olive drab sprayed. I mean, granted, I was only working with one Keller this time, but, you know, this is what it is, I guess. So, we'll hopefully over the, over the Thanksgiving weekend here, we'll get this completed. I'll get another final reveal update. Look forward to that. I'd like to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Very happy Thanksgiving. Safe travels to everybody. I'll pray for everybody. Midnight and the girls and I will be going to my wife's side of the family. That's in western Pennsylvania. So we'll be heading there about 8 o'clock tomorrow night. It's about a three, three and a half hour drive for us. So till then for now, everybody, like I said, have a happy Thanksgiving. Thanks everybody for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. And we'll catch everybody on the next video. See you now.